Spectre Console allows you to turn your C Sharp console apps into visually appealing, informative applications. In this series of videos, we are learning how to take full advantage of this library in 10 minute chunks. The source code is available as a link in the description. In this lesson, we're going to create tables on the console with all the design choices of tables in any other application. We'll align columns, we'll add padding, we'll set width, and more. If you like this series, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and visit IamTimCorey.com for more training resources. Let's get started. So let's start off with a very basic table example. We're going to say uh, table, we'll call it table equals new, like so. And then we'll say um, table dot add column. And we're going to say the first column is first name, like so. And then we'll duplicate a couple more times and say last name. And this last one will be H. Just we have three different types of columns. And then we're going to say table dot add row. And you have a couple options here, actually three options. You can have a parameter set of I renderable objects. So a, by the way, a params allows you to put as many commas and just put parameters in there. It's going to put it all into one array, which means that if we have three columns, you'd have three parameters. If we have five columns, you have five parameters and so on. So this would be the I renderable, which means that anything that is a normal I renderable, it goes to the um, console in Spectre console, we could put here. For example, if we uh, had a, a panel, which you haven't learned about yet, but we could have a panel. We could have a table. We could have, so we have nested tables. We have a lot of different things we could send to this, but that's an option. The second set is a params list of strings. So that's one we'll use most commonly. But then the third option we'll at least demo today, which is an I enumerable of I renderable columns. So that's if you have an I enumerable that has our um, I renderable object in it for one row. So it's not terribly useful in a lot of situations, but I want to show off all of these. So, or at least those last two. So let's start off with just our parameters list of strings. So we're going to say uh, Tim, if I spell my name right, uh, Corey and 46 like so. And again, we'll duplicate this a couple more times. Um, and we're going to say, um, oh, I made a mistake here. Uh, let's undo the duplication because I put 46 as a number, but it's not a number. It's a string. There we go. Um, that's correct. So now I can duplicate this two more times and we'll put Sue and Storm and I guess 23, I'm not sure. And then, um, you know what? Let's just leave off, just have two. And we'll leave Bill for later when we do the um, I enumerable. So we have our two entries now. Let's go ahead and display this table. So we're going to say ANSI console dot write. Remember that write allows us to write an I renderable object, in this case, a table. So Right line will not, but right will allow us to add that I renderable object to the console. So let's save this and bring over our terminal and run it. When we do, we get our table and first name, last name, age. Perfect. Like it's, it's what we're looking for here. But let's go ahead and play around with a few things. First of all, I want to show off how to modify the table itself. So we're going to say, table dot, let's say centered. And what this will do, we can also have left aligned or right aligned, but centered will put the table itself into the center of the screen. It will not align the columns. So that's the kind of the differentiator here. We're applying to the table. Therefore, the table is centered on the screen, not the columns. The columns are not centered as well. We'll center the columns later. So that's a centered table. You can also do right aligned or left aligned. Left aligned is the default. Now we could also, if we wanted to, and we're going to do this and turn it back off, is table.expand. We also have table.collapse, uh, which we'll see in a minute, but that's the default. So 
table dot expand expands to the entire width, which means centering doesn't do anything anymore for the table because the table takes up the entire space. So that's how we can expand our table out. Um, we're going to comment that out. Again, collapse is the default here. Let's now say table dot border and add a table border. So table border dot, we have options here. Um, we have table border dot rounded is one of our options. Let's see it's an action. Now for this one, I'm actually gonna hit the play button for a minute. Now, I wanna show you something and that is we have a centered table, but it's not rounded. Well, notice it's in the, um, this is a console application. But if I come over here to my PowerShell in Windows Terminal and run it, I get rounded corners. Why is that? We talked earlier about this. There's a difference between the terminal or console you're running in and the shell behind it. So the shell is just telling us the information and the terminal is determining what it can cannot render. So Windows Terminal can handle the rounding, but when you run your application inside of the, the console, the, the developer console that comes with Visual Studio, it will not do the rounding. So that's gonna be the difference you're gonna see is, is it rounded or not, depending on the terminal or console, kind of interchangeable there, um, that is running your shell. So in this case, um, we're running one that, that does work. So if we were to, by the way, just go to the, um, the command prompt here. So let's pull up the um, developer command prompt for Visual Studio 2022 and change our directory to the correct one and then say .NET run. Notice we have rounded corners, even though it's the developer command prompt. Again, why is that? Because the shell is capable of doing this. It is the it is the terminal that's the one that's saying, yes, I can do this or I cannot do this. So the terminal says, yep, I can do this because we're using Windows Terminal, but we use that same shell inside Visual Studio. It can't do it because of the thing that's running it. Okay, I know it's a little complex there having shells or versus terminals and consoles, but um, just note that when some things won't render and some things will, which also means you have to check that whenever you're um, try out different things. Okay, we could also add table dot show row separators if we wanted to see the uh, the lines between our columns. All right, or I'm sorry, between our rows. Okay, so now let's look at columns and we can say table dot call, stop with the table dot columns and let's do zero the first column, and we're gonna say pad left, we'll add five to that and pad right, and we'll add five as well. Now we're gonna do the same thing for a couple more things, uh, table dot columns one, we're not gonna do pad left, instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the width to be 15, not 150. And then finally, and by the way, these numbers here are based upon characters, not upon pixels. Finally, we're going to, um, let's set the, the same column. So uh, we'll duplicate this. We'll set column one to be right aligned. Okay, that way we can actually see it since it's got some padding in there. Okay, with that, let's run this again. And when we do, we'll see that we have right aligned and we have padding around first name. Notice even the, um, the title here has it. Okay, um, last thing I wanna show is if we bring in I enumerable, and for sake of time, I'll just copy and paste this in. So new list of text, it has a list of text and it has to say new inside each entry, but notice this is one row's worth of information. Well, I can come down here and say table dot add row and pass in that person. And now we can have that third person on the line because we pass in the I enumerable. It's not terribly useful, but it is possible. 
All right, so that's tables. There's lots to do here, but thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.